what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we'll be talking about scream six in this video here today we'll be talking about one a leaked photo that i'm not going to share here only because based on what i can see and based on the conversations i've already had with other individuals and other things that i know related to the movie this seems to be quite legit if you want to see it you probably have already seen it and that's why you know i'm making this video to talk about it obviously but it's over on reddit being shared it's being shared on twitter i'm just not going to share it here because obviously what i think would happen is that this video could be flagged and removed and i don't want that i'll also be talking about the thoughts on when i believe a trailer will be dropping based off of a new tweet that came out a couple days ago from big screen leaks when they were doing a ask me anything someone asked about any news related to the scream 6 trailer and they responded with they know of a date or they know a date uh now that's not to say that the date is set in stone however going off of some of the recent trends i'm seeing with how people keep talking about scream 6 and now adding into the fact that this this um image has kind of leaked from the movie of this this is before i get to the image i don't want to go into that image just yet but given that plus the the hype around the movie and the way it's starting to trend on twitter and some other things that are related to stuff that you probably want to strike while the iron is hot i could see them pushing up marketing releasing something either this week even going off of that leaked steel or releasing the trailer friday i can see them doing that that's not to say that it's happened that's a very bold prediction chances are that's not going to happen however the more likely option of when this trailer will drop based off of some of the things going on right now with paramount as a studio uh, as a distribution they have this upcoming big movie babylon that i believe is getting rave reviews so far with Mar margot robbie i think this is what they're labeling their oscar bait for the year so that comes out on december 23rd scream came out in december the original scream came out in december you could easily either debut the trailer early december so it can play alongside babylon which if it ends up being a box office hit that would only then amplify the chances of people seeing the trailer for scream 6 and building interest in your movie during the previews of babylon or you you debut it again so it can play along with the release of babylon debut it the week babylon comes out because again babylon comes out december 23rd i believe or the week of christmas eve so that's when they could obviously drop the scream scream six trailer uh i'm not sure when the scream release day falls this year because i know it came out in december of 1996 they could easily drop it on the same day that the original scream released in december that would be later in the month obviously in the i think it was on december 20th or december 19th one of those two i might be off but the trailer most likely is going to drop in December. That is my prediction on when I can see the trailer dropping so it can play alongside Babylon. And if Babylon ends up being a box office hit going off of the early praise it's already getting from the people who have seen it, then that would only add more interest into the movies that are being previewed that are associated with Paramount, such as a obvious Scream 6 trailer placement. So, and would also, of course, help the box office going into the movie's release in March. So with that in mind, this steel that's out there and the way I see people continue to hype up the movie, they should probably strike while the iron is hot. We might get a, we might get a poster this month and then we might get the trailer late next month or the latest obviously january because it's going to follow the pattern of what they did with scream 5 we got the scream the scream 5 trailer in october the movie came out in january so they gave themselves november and december and then a little bit of january to market the movie before it came out so with this one follow the same pattern might start a little bit early if they drop the trailer in december along with a poster and some official images but then january and february that is them in full marketing mode probably see a lot more cast interviews see the cast teasing things probably see some activity on tiktok get the snapshot snapchat filter back in place get the screen ghost face emoji back in back in effect all of that so that way we can all be ready for the return of ghost face as he takes on he she takes on manhattan in march on the 10th so that's also probably why they are starting marketing earlier they could start marketing early because i forgot the release date had been pushed up it got pushed up to march 10th instead of the end of march so you very well could see them start up marketing at the end of december instead of january only because of the fact that the movie got pushed up so i wanted to touch on that steel that was released so not released but it looks like it's been leaked there's a steel that's out there that shows kirby chad mindy tara sam jamar moroni's character i believe is present too and i think somebody else looks like they're present as well but 
all in all, this image looks like they are in a abandoned theater setting. It seems to be a location that many people are. Shout out to you, Tristan, really quick, because you I know you shared an image in a uh, in a chat where there was a set photo of stab posters in what many of us thought was a museum. This steel that's leaked looks like that's where they're all standing in because it looks like they have stab posters behind them. So what could be going on here is that this might be for the finale. That might very well be a steal from the finale that's gotten out, and it might be from the trailer that's about to be released too. I know I've seen some people come down on Hayden Panettiere's wig, and I will say this. I don't think that it looks great. I don't think it looks great at all. However, it's a very low quality image that could be looking better in a better quality, obviously, or it might make it worse. If it makes it worse, then they might regret what they did with her hair <laughs> in the movie but all in all you know a bad wig that's not going to make or break the movie for me it'll just be something that's going to be very rough to look at for most people as you're wanting to see her character return but then you have to deal with the fact that her wardrobe might be a little disgusting at certain points so hopefully the wig looks better on screen i think that this steel is in, is a leak of the finale and again it has all the core four characters who survive woodsboro along with Sam and two new characters I saw, Dermot Moroni and Kirby. So that is what was in that leaked image. Again, if you've seen it, what were your thoughts on it down in the comment section below? At what point in the movie do you think this is happening? Also, I want to point this out. Just because Gail was not present in that image does not mean that Gail is going to die. Uh, there's so many different things that are missing. You, There's so much context missing. We don't know when exactly this is happening in the movie. And we don't know what is going to bring us to this point. There could be a very valid reason that relates to Gail still being alive as to why she's not here for this. What I'm assuming is taking place during the finale. But we'll see what happens when they start marketing this movie. And I think obviously with this leaked image, they will start to ramp it up even further because this looks very legit. It has all the characters that people have been seeing on set. They're wearing costumes we've seen them wear on set. So... They're going to have to kick it up a notch to get ahead of the leaks. If this continues, because it, it tells me that somebody has access, because what if they have access to other things besides just this already leaked image? They want to get ahead of that. So hopefully they take the route that Halloween took and they drop something to get ahead of the leaks and get the marketing going. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications at the end of this video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.